Okay, so uh, now we come to differential equations, and this might be one of the very final things you do in calculus and possibly the whole two-year course. Okay, and some of them can seem quite daunting at first, but hopefully after watching these videos uh, you'll see that um, it's not uh, much more difficult than uh, the other things you learn in calculus. So, um, what are differential equations? Well, firstly, uh, they're essentially a, uh, a function, an equation, where you have uh, an equation that is in terms of x, y, and dy by dx, and potentially higher derivatives as well. Okay, uh, so I see in this first example, I just have dy by dx, and I have some x's and y's. Okay, in the second example, I have uh, d2y by dx squared, and... Uh, so that's a second derivative, okay, and we'd call that a second order differential equation. And we'll call this first one a first order differential equation. And luckily for you, uh, in IB, you will only ever see first order differential equations. Okay, so don't worry about this yet. Okay, and we're going to have uh, methods for solving first order differential equations. Three methods. Okay, uh, but before we find out how to solve, uh, we should say, what does a solution of a differential equation look like? Um, well, firstly, it's not a number uh, or anything simple like that. It is, in fact, an equation. Okay, y equals some function of x. Okay, so if you look here, um, what does, what does that really mean? It means that you are trying to find a, an equation, um, a function in x, um, whose derivative plus x squared multiplied by that function equals e to the power of that function of x. Okay, so that's obviously not very obvious what that function would have to be at this stage, okay, but there are various techniques to help us get there. Okay, so the first one is um, a type of differential equation, um, and these are separable equations. Okay, and these are ones that can be written in the form dy by dx equals some function of x multiplied by some function of y. Okay, so strictly in this form, okay, we can't have plus some other x here or anything like that. Um, no, some function of x times a function of y. Okay, and we say that it can be written in that form. Okay, it might not be presented in that form perfectly at the start of the question. Okay, what we're going to do if it's in that form is um, divide by q of y and um, also multiply by d of x, uh, dx, and then, uh, well, we've essentially just moved all the y's to the left and all the x's to the right, uh, okay? And when we do that, um, what we can do is actually simply integrate both sides, which might seem like a, a strange step, and you wonder if that's really allowed, uh, but... Yes, okay, because we have this dy here and that this dx on the other side, okay, and we're going to have two integrals, okay, on the left it's with respect to y, and on the right you are integrating with respect to x, okay, and if you do this you'll have some function of y after integrating on the left, some function of x on the right, um, maybe a constant, and you can rearrange that to just get y equals a function of x, okay? So, for example, um, I have dy by dx equals e to the power of x minus y. Firstly, is it in the separable form? Uh, well, not yet, uh, but I could write this as uh, e to the power of x over e to the power of y, and if you really didn't agree, that that's in the right form, then you could call it that instead. Uh, but that's not really necessary. Uh, so from there, 
Remember, we move all the y's to the left, all the x's to the right, dx as well. We then integrate both sides. Okay, uh, e to the power of y stays the same, and e to the power of x also stays the same. This is one of the more simple separable equations. Now, usually when you're integrating, you might have a constant. Okay, in each one. However, if I have, let's say it was plus 7 on this side and it was minus 3 on this side, okay, if I had that equation, I would naturally want to combine them anyway into some new constant. In that case, maybe uh, minus 10 on the right hand side. And due to this reason, okay, there's basically no reason to have. Um, plus a constant on one side and plus a constant on the other side, because they would be combined eventually into one constant, um, let's just say, on the right-hand side. Okay, uh, I haven't solved it because I haven't got y. I haven't got y equals. Okay, so let's try and do that. Um, how do I rearrange this? I do ln of both sides, and therefore I will have ln of e to the power of x plus c. Okay, and that is my solution. Okay, next. Okay, again, not immediately in the correct form. Um, I think I'm definitely going to need to move the uh, this 2x to the right. Um, if I divide by y, I get this, and I'm going to multiply by dx. And now I'm in my at my stage where I can integrate both sides. Uh, this is going to be ln of y. Um, and this is going to be x squared. And I'll just have the plus c on one side. Uh, and at this stage, I will uh, do e to the power of both sides. And that will get me this. Now, uh, if I if I look at this exponent here, um, I can see that I've got uh, e to the power of something plus something else. Okay, so I could separate these uh, into two, uh, two terms here multiply together, and e to the power of c, okay, c is just a constant, a number, and e is as well, okay, so um, e to the power of c is actually just a one single number overall, okay, so I, I might just call that a new constant by itself, a, let's say, okay, at this stage I can also see at the top, just like any integration problem, that I have an initial condition. I have some coordinates that I can plug in. Okay, and when you have that, it won't tell you, but you need to spot that I am now able to find C. Okay, or A in this case. Okay, so I plug in Y as 3 and X as 0. Uh, 0 squared, 0. E to the power of 0 is 1. Okay, so therefore A equals 3. And I can write out my final solution in full. Now I have A is 3. And there you have it. That is my solution to this differential equation. Okay, it's the y, it's the function of x that I, uh, that is represented by y, um, such that 1 over 2x multiplied by the derivative of y would equal that function. Okay, so that's separable equations. Okay, and there's two other uh, methods of solving differential equations to come.